What do you want to do when you grow up? Science, because one, it can, one, I can like figure out this brain tumor stuff and this will help kids. Hi, my name is Michael Methner. I'm 41 years old. I'm a police officer. My name is Emily Methner. I'm 39 years old. I'm a registered nurse. And we have two children, Michael and Lillian. When he was two and a half, we were right there at the kitchen and we were eating dinner. And I noticed he had resting nystagmus in his eye. And uh, I pointed it out to Emily. Just his eyes were moving on their own. Both his eyes were just shaking. We found a local doctor and halfway through the exam, he, uh, he just stopped it and said, we need to do an MRI. And uh, that's when things started becoming very scary. When the doctor reviewed the MRI with us right then and there on that day, he immediately gave us a, you know, information on who to see to get this brain tumor removed and realizing that it might kill him. It was, I mean, we were devastated. When they first gave me the MRI and I had to send it to CHOP, I had to go to FedEx. And the lady at FedEx says, what is the value of this document? And I just started crying because it was priceless. Back then, the first line is chemotherapy. It was weekly infusions of carboplatin and vincristine. Carboplatin is a heavy metal chemo, so the side effects are pretty rough. And then vincristine is a ner like a nerve ending um, chemo. Even though he was two and a half, we had to give him something to chew on because it was just a lot of nerve pain. And then Michael's tumor started to grow again, so we kind of needed something to um, work right away. So he was put on a, a Bastin. And then that unfortunately put him into nephrotic syndrome, which his kidneys shut down. So even though it worked wonderfully, it did a lot of damage. Finally, the MEK inhibitor medications came to CHOP and we were on Tremetinib. And that one had a couple side effects that were rough on Michael. And unfortunately, it wasn't working either. And then finally, the Day 101 or Tovo Rab Finib mm -hmm. <laughs> um, came to CHOP and um, has been working first MRI on it was showed shrinkage, so we're beyond thankful for it. This medicine is a blessing, really. I feel like we're new people because of this medicine. I feel like the weight of the world has been lifted off of our shoulders. Right now, Michael is doing wonderfully. I feel like he is just a regular kid, you know, can play sports and loves to go outside and play Minecraft and is a regular kid. He used to take six pills every week and they want it to be done the same day every week. That's it. <laughs> Children with these tumors are going to come on and off medication for pretty much, you know, until they're 30. So they're gonna give him a little bit of a holiday so he can catch up on growth before puberty hits him because then the bones fuse. So they just wanna get him to grow as much as he can. You know, he grew up in children's hospital. So he knows, you know, the therapy dog and he knows the nurses and he knows the doctors and um, some of the support staff that are in there and they know him by name. Cancer and any illnesses, they don't have boundaries, whether it's your religion, your political views, it's your orientation, it doesn't make a difference. It affects everyone. And it's the same thing with the treatment. The treatment has to be there for everybody to help everybody. If we can find a better way, if we can find medications that aren't as toxic to the kids that have these benefits, you can't put a price tag on that. Well, I just feel like this, these targeted therapies are the future for medications, especially with cancer. And um, to have this medicine work and shrink his tumor, it has made us be like a new family.